Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing really, really well today. Really, really well today. <laughs> so today is going to be my second permanent low buy update. My PLU, if you will. You probably won't. <laughs> I'm just going to be following the same format as I did in my last update video. So I'm going to start by running through my entire wish list and like all the things that I added in the month of January. And then I'm going to go into what I actually did get in January and um, then I'm gonna have like some kind of end of month reflections. And then lastly I am going to move things from my wish list onto my February wish list, which I don't know why that's so exciting to me, but I made a joke in my last video that it was kind of like I was gonna declutter my wish list, which sounds stupid, but honestly it does kind of feel the same way. It just feels so good to just be like delete. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited about that. <laughs> I wasn't really sure whether or not I should go through the items that I transferred from my December wish list onto my January one. Um, but I'm gonna run through them by the end anyway, so I think it just kind of makes sense to just jump straight into things that I just added in January. So the first thing that I added was some paraffin wax because I really want to try to make a candle. <laughs> it was something that I talked to my sister about and I just I really wanted to make a candle. <laughs> and um, I also put two pretty like big um, items on my wish list just to kind of remind myself that I do have some things coming up in the future that needs replacing. Um, so the first thing was a new MacBook or maybe reparations for the one that I have now. And then also a new camera, which is kind of like the same thing. So yeah, those things aren't really immediate or anything. It's not gonna be right now, but I mean, if my camera breaks down or if my laptop breaks down um, tomorrow, those things are something that I'm gonna have to replace. I also put some fabric dye on my wish list, um, mainly for like bed sheets and pillowcases and stuff and like old t-shirts that have become quite stained, especially my pillowcases and stuff just because I use some exfoliants in my skincare routine. So I have a lot of pillowcases and like towels that are very like bleach stained. So I put fabric dye on there too but again th that's not something like immediately pressing it's not something I have to do right now and I'm also not sure what color I want so but I put that on there also I put yarn on my list because I finished all my projects in the beginning of January and I have not knitted since the beginning of January and I'm like very I'm very eager to <laughs> start knitting again so that is something that I actually already bought it's the 4th of February today so I have actually moved on to the next month already um, and I, I did buy some yarn. The first thing I got in the month of January were some hair clips. Um, I just got them at the supermarket. I really want a new makeup bag. Not that I don't like the one that I have right now, but it's a it's one from Skinny Dip. It's like square and then it's made out of plastic. So um, I actually really want to get a new makeup bag for my makeup so that I can use that one to transport like skincare and stuff in um, when I go travel. <laughs> By travel, I mean when I go visit my parents in Copenhagen. <laughs> yeah, it would just be really handy for transporting things that can actually leak. Um, so I want to get a new makeup bag for my makeup, but I haven't found one. I'm thinking maybe something with the Renaissance on it. I also added a pair of shoes to my wish list, which is not really something that I need. Um, I have plenty of shoes. But um, it actually, it was something that I thought about because I was watching this video by uh, Lena Norms. I think it's called Lessons About Clothing to Unlearn in Your 20s or something. Um, it was really good. I'll, I'll link it down below. I think I've watched it like three or four times. <laughs> it was really good. I really like that video. Um, but anyway, she talks about how she kind of almost completely phased out uh, sneakers from her life because they couldn't really be repaired very easily and they get like worn out super quickly, um, which is, I mean, definitely true. I keep my sneakers literally until they have holes in them. But after a year or so, um, I definitely notice that they're not as comfortable. And yeah, sneakers do get like worn out quite quickly just because of the materials and stuff. And she talked about how she had picked up like a pair of shoes that she could actually repair instead um, so that she would have for years and years. I will probably always have one pair of white sneakers in my wardrobe. It's just the thing that I like to wear the most. But I think I would actually like to go through the rest of my sneakers because I only wear one or two pairs and I have a bunch more. Um, so I think I'm actually going to go through my sneakers and declutter most of them. And then when the time comes, I can buy, um, I've been looking at like maybe a pair of loafers or like a pair of platform loafers is this idea that I have that I really wouldn't like to get. Or maybe like a pair of low Doc Martens or something. So I put a pair of leather shoes, um, like a pair of repairable shoes on my list. Again, it's not really something that's super necessary right now, um, but eventually I think it would be a really good purchase for me. Okay, so I found this long sleeve t-shirt on a secondhand app 
and I actually bought it because I thought that it would be really good for layering with and stuff. So that was my item number two. And then actually I saw my friend wear this coat that I really liked. It was this um, long puffer coat that a ton of people are wearing. Like I feel like everybody in Denmark right now is wearing that type of coat. But seeing that one on her made me realize that the coat that I have that I wear every day, like with everything, it's my like secondhand Max Mira coat. It's beautiful, I love it. But seeing that on her made me kind of realize that my coat isn't very warm. I have to, every time I leave the house in that coat, I have to layer up. I have to wear at least two pairs of pants in the winter and like a bunch more layers on top and like a scarf. And even then I always tend to like walk like this and like hold up my coat um, because it's just, it's quite loose on me. So it lets in a lot of air. Yeah, it was just when I saw that coat on her, I was like, that is very handy to have something that actually keeps you warm. So I actually bought it. Um, so that was my third purchase of the month. Oh, I forgot to mention that I went into January having bought too many items in December. So I'm still only allowing myself to buy two items per week. And in December I bought 12 items in total. So I only had four items um, for the entire month of January. And uh, yeah, I was up to three at this point. And then I did a collaboration with a brand, um, which was very exciting. So I had a perfume sent to me for doing that collab. So that was my fourth item. And something that I'm noticing is definitely that even when I've like spent all my items or like used up all my items, um, that doesn't stop me from adding stuff to my wish list and like that doesn't stop me from thinking about things that I really want. So after that I added a pair of tights. Um, I actually hate tights and pantyhose and stuff but I was just thinking that maybe like a pair of finely knitted ones, so some that are really warm and maybe in like white or in like a different color than black. I think maybe it's also just like that I don't like black tights. And also if I did have a pair of tights, I would be able to wear my dresses and my skirts um, throughout the year instead of only in the summer or in the like warmer months. So I put a pair of, of tights on there as well. Then I put a sip up hoodie on my wish list, which I'm not really sure why. New wine glasses, because I broke all of mine. And then I put on, I wanted three different books. Uh, one is The Return of the Real by Hal Foster. And then I really want to read Solaris by Stanislaw Lim. Then I put The Magic Mountain by Thomas Mann on here, which I've never had any urge to read Thomas Mann. And I'm, I don't think it would be an author that I would particularly enjoy. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but I, I did want that um, at that point. And then lastly, I put nail polish remover on my wish list because I ran out, um, but I had already used up all my items. So I was like, no, it's fine. I can wait the like week and a half until it's the first. And then I just thought that's a little dumb. Like that's not what this project is for. Of course it's for prioritizing items that I do need and like run out of um, to begin with. But I was just like, this is this is fine. So I actually did go and buy the nail polish remover, um, which put my items up to five for that month. But then also I did have something happen, uh, which was in my last, when I did my last empties video, I showed a nail, my favorite nail polish that I'd run out of. And one of you guys reached out to me and said that you actually had one that you weren't using and um, if I would like to have it. And so I got sent this and uh, this is so lovely. Thank you so much, Taiva, um, for sending me this. I usually don't include presents in these like um, item count things, but because this was something that I decided to like agree to like have or like to get, I thought it would just make sense to include this as an item. So that brings my January items up to six. But yeah, this is lovely. And Taiva also sent me um, a couple of samples, so she sent me the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and then the cutest little thing, it's like a little milk makeup, uh, what's it called? Blur Stick? This is the cutest sample I've ever seen. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much Taiva, again, um, it's lovely and I guarantee that this will be very well loved. This is my favorite. Oh, I forgot to say, by the way, it's the Formula X Decadent Nail Polish. Um, I love it. <laughs> so yeah. From now on, it's just gonna be me and you, buddy. I'm just gonna count this as one item, by the way, because I am sneaky. <laughs> so yeah, I had the nail polish and then I had the nail polish remover, which was very uneventful. Um, it's just a nail polish remover from the supermarket. And I actually didn't get this Casper did, and it's, it's a bad one. I've had this one before, so 
this sucks, but. And the first thing that I did get were these um, hair clips. I just got this pack of sort of bobby pins in silver. Then I got a little pack of four of these kind of hair clips. I have some gold and I really wanted some silver ones to wear with uh, silver jewelry. And I use them a lot to like pin up my bangs when they're being unagreeable, <laughs> which is a lot these days. Then I got the perfume for the collaboration. This is by Bon Parfumeur and then it's the 001 scent uh, with Fleur d'Orange and Petit, Petit Grain and Bergamot. Um, so yeah, and this is lovely. It smells so good. It's so long lasting too. It's the perfume that I've had that la has lasted the longest. I feel like if I put it on in the morning, I can still sm smell it in the evening. Um, so that's pretty, that's pretty cool. And then the last thing was this beautiful coat. Um, I'm sorry. This is amazing. So it's this long puffer coat and it has a hood and yeah, it's just wonderful. The only thing was, um, it's fast fashion. I bought it from New and I bought it from, it's from a brand called Jacqueline de Young, which is sort of like a brand within the brand called Vion Moda, which is a Danish fast fashion uh, store, which is owned by a like top conglomerate <laughs> called Bestseller, which I hate. Like honestly, it's like, it's kind of like the Amazon of fast fashion in my opinion. So I did feel kind of weird supporting a fast fashion brand, especially because I've talked so much about not buying fast fashion. And I did try to find it secondhand on the like reselling apps and stuff, but I couldn't find that particular model. I didn't want to buy something that I hadn't seen on myself because I wasn't sure how they were uh, obviously going to look on me. And um, also they were a lot more expensive than the one was from new. And I mean, fast fashion is that inexpensive because it's obviously cutting some corners somewhere. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really, it's not really an option to go into thrift stores at the moment. And I don't know, because I was able to try on my friends, I already knew what it would look like on me and stuff. And also I'm trying the whole thing about not obsessing over purchases. Um, so like I did think this over for a couple of days and yeah. I decided to get it and I have been wearing that coat every day for like since I got it and I love it it's so handy and it's so warm and it's just it's wonderful to go outside and not be cold so that coat has been absolutely lovely oh I forgot that wasn't the last thing <sighs> I talked about in my last video that I really wanted something that I could layer under my white t-shirts um preferably like a turtleneck or like a polo neck thing and I saw this which is like a long sleeve t-shirt. It's from Monkey and I hate it. <laughs> it's a size small, so I thought it would be roomy on me actually because I'm usually a an extra small in Monkey. Um, so I thought this would be like just fine, but it's too tight, especially the sleeves are very, very tight and the neck, it looks kind of stretched out on me. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be, but it doesn't really look good when you then layer something over top um, that's quite thin. And also it has a stain and it's not really white. It's like an off white. This is so sad. I can't believe I spent an item on this. <laughs> yeah, this is just, this is so sad. And I feel like this is most often the experience I have with buying things from those like reselling apps. I think the only successes that I've really truly had has have been from buying things that I've already tried on in store. In January, I did do a massive clothing declutter and I decided to get rid of this. So I'm so sad, but like I can't, I'm not gonna wear it, I can't wear it, so yeah. Also, I did film the declutter, by the way, it's coming up, it's gonna be in two parts because I decided to try on everything in my wardrobe and um, yeah, it took a long, long time, but uh, yeah, those videos are coming up soon. And those were the things that I got in the month of January. I think the biggest struggle kind of this month was with, my, with the coat um, and like buying fast fashion and stuff because it is something that I know can be quite triggering in me to just then get like a whole bunch of stuff and also of course like the ethical aspect of it and the sustainable aspect and stuff. But at the same time, I think my main problem that I'm struggling with is still obsessing over things and like just really spending so much time and thinking capacity on making the decision on whether or not I should buy something. And with the coat, I was just like, I, I already started to look for alternatives and try to find it on every single like reselling website and app and stuff and trying to find a different one and comparing it. I was just like, 
I can't handle this. Like, this is not a good, this is not, it didn't feel good. So I just decided to go ahead and buy the coat. And I think it was, it was, I think it was the right decision, even though it was fast fashion. It's honestly been so helpful writing everything down, like just so far with this project, both because I didn't realize that I thought about buying things so often. And I also didn't realize how many things that I actually do buy, like just for example, like the hair clips or nail polish remover and stuff. It's just like, it's such a small amount of money um, compared to other things things that I like put on my wish list that I want to buy but that doesn't mean that it isn't still an item that is coming into my life and like a physical thing so yeah it's been super super helpful to actually write things down also with this whole project I'm kind of noticing how um, the wish list is actually working. I still feel like I want to be better at prioritizing things that I need instead of things that I want, but obviously it's a process and this is like only the second month that I've been doing this. But I have actually noticed that it's really helpful that when I do find something like, for example, yarn that I'm like, yes, I'm next month when I can buy stuff, stuff again, I'm going to buy yarn. That actually discourages me from looking for other stuff that I want. Like I don't go browsing for things to want because I already have something that I'm like really looking forward to be able to get. So that's really lovely. And I think so far, I think the project is going quite well. I noticed after editing my last update video that in my introduction video, I very clearly stated that I was allowing myself to buy maximum two items of clothing each month and that I was not going to make the clothing items transferable because I knew that I didn't want any more clothing. And then after editing my like first update video, I was just like looking at myself and hearing myself saying that, that I was going to remove that rule because it would make it a lot handier for me when I can actually go back into thrift stores and, you know, have like a little bank of allowed item clothing items saved up what is that logic why why is that something that i think is a is a good to sit like that no so i'm absolutely not making clothing items transferable yeah i don't know it, it's just so weird what you can justify to yourself sometimes um so i but i caught that one and i'm not gonna make clothing items uh transferable because like what was i thinking just like going back to the thrift store and then being like yeah luckily i have eight clothing items saved up so i can just like go no, no. i'm still noticing a lot of browsing because of boredom um especially like <clears throat> just on websites that i know i shouldn't be on like asos or just like going back to depop or trend sales or something and especially with depop i i go back sometimes to just like look at my liked items and like unlike some things and I noticed that some things I had sort of saved just because I wanted to remind myself that that clothing item was like a type that I wanted, which is ridiculous. Like, what is that? So I have to like remember that I want something. Like, that's ridiculous. I actually also in January, I decided to delete the trend sales and Depop um, from my phone and I haven't reinstalled them. I think also just being able to only buy six items this month kind of showed me that I should definitely lower the item count at some point. I'm not going to do it right now just because I think it is a little bit too early to make changes when I haven't gotten like a full sort of idea of how my spending is and stuff yet. But I think it definitely is something that I am gonna do eventually. Maybe cutting it down to like six items a month would be nice and maybe eventually four. Um, but yeah, it's all a process. So it's that's gonna come some other time. But yeah, let's move into moving things from my January wish list to my February wish list. Okay, so um, from December, I had um, a bedspread on my wish list, which is actually something I feel like I can get rid of. I don't really know why I had the idea that that would be a really lovely thing to have because I love like colored sort of bed sheets and stuff. So I actually think I would just kind of like to show those off instead of like covering them up. So I have a lovely pink one that makes the entire room pink, I know, but um, yes, that's just what we're dealing with. <laughs> I also, I mean, hate to say it, but I still have the Alighieri um, earrings. They're wildly expensive. They're called the Infernal Storm earrings and they're like 350 pounds and God knows what in import charges now that Brexit is a thing, but I will keep them on here. And it's one of those things that I just, I know one day I'll buy them. Like someday, I don't know in how many years, um, but someday I will have them. Them and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep those on. I also have the Ana Luisa Yusuf necklace in silver, which I actually feel like I can't get rid of. I do have other necklaces and stuff. I can I can remove that one. I also have a white linen dress um, on my wish list, which is something that I fully intended on keeping until I did that closet declutter. Um, because not only did I just go through everything, I counted all the items that I own 
And the amount of dresses that I own kind of makes me feel like an idiot for putting a dress on my wish list. So um, we're getting that out of there. <laughs> Do not need more dresses. I also have a bike on there, which is definitely like probably the thing that I need the most um, right now. Like it's my most like need item. Then I have a pair of brown lace-up boots from the brand By Far. I don't really need these. Um, I still love them and they will live on in my heart, but I'm gonna remove them from my wish list um, for the time being anyways. Then I have the a soft bra from Monkey in white. Um, it's actually, it's the same that I'm wearing in black underneath. It's just kind of like a crop bra tank top thing, um, which is really handy, but I do have it in three other colors. And yes, I would like to have it in white, but it is not, it's not, that necessary for me. Also, I've noticed the more that I wear them, the more I kind of like my neck kind of hurts. So they're probably not as great as I thought they were. <laughs> then I have a Realization Par leopard skirt. One of the more useless items that I have on here. And honestly, I can actually get rid of that one. Tattoo, yes. Piercings, yes. Brown fluffy monkey coat from a secondhand app. Beautiful, but I do not need it, so I'm getting rid of that one. A sunscreen. I really want a new sunscreen, so keeping that one on there. White turtleneck for layering with. Um, I'm gonna get rid of just because if it's something that I still want, um, I can knit it eventually, maybe next year or something, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I still have an oversized t-shirt on here, which I do have a specific one from Etsy that I want, and I don't need it, but for the time being I still want it, so I'm gonna keep that on here. Um, I also have a tinted mirror. Don't need that one. Mux by Studio Aha. I don't need that one. I mean, I am a Moomin mug gal myself, so. But damn it, they are cute. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them on there just because, you know, to be honest with myself. I actually forgot to mention that I, <laughs> immediately after filming my last video, I added a monkey dress to my wish list. Um, so that was a, a January thing. And it's like this beautiful, it's like I've been looking at it for a couple months. It's this beautiful cardigan knit dress um, with like, it's like beige and has like button downs. It's really pretty, but I don't think I have a time where I would be able to wear it actually because I don't again have tights that I can wear so I can not wear it in the winter. It's too hot to wear in the summer. I could maybe wear it in the spring but I'm very pale in the spring and like beige and this complexion. I, I, I just don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> so yeah no don't not keeping that one on there. Paraffin wax I think actually just in general I want to just put hobby things like I kind of want to get some acrylic paint and like I think I want to just start spending m more money on that instead of um, sort of like want items. I mean hobby things are want items I guess but, but yeah I think I would just kind of like to start prioritizing um, hobby supplies kind of like art supplies things. So um, I'm just gonna put hobby supplies on there for now. A new MacBook, keeping that on there. A new camera, keeping that on there. Uh, the fabric dye, also keeping that on there. Yarn. You know it. I guess that goes under ho hobby supplies, but keeping yarn on there. Socks, I don't need that right now. Uh, new makeup bags, still want that. Those like leather repairable shoes, still want those. What else do we have there? Tights, the knitted tights. I feel like I want to wait until next winter to see if that's something that I still want then because I mean, we're in February now, so I can't really even wear them for that long if I got them now. So I'm gonna get rid of those for now. Sip up hoodie, getting rid of that. New wine glasses, definitely need that. I break all my glasses, so I need new wine glasses. <laughs> the Return of the Real by Hal Foster, not my most immediate want uh, book wise. Actually, and the Magic Mountain, that's not, not something that I really feel like I need right now either, but I still wanna read Solaris by Stanislaw Lim, so I'm gonna keep that on there. And yes, those are actually the items, so. We still have a long wish list going into February, and I'm just kind of excited for my wish list to get shorter and shorter, hopefully. Um, but I'm also, I would like to say, I'm like including everything, like every single thing that I think about wanting. So yeah, which feels uh, somewhat intimate, I have to say. Like it feels kind of private in a way, being like, here is my list of things that I want. Like that just, it feels very intimate, but so yeah. Hope you're enjoying these videos. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as always. And yeah, I'll see you soon with my new, my whole declutter thing. It was intense, um, but yeah. Have a wonderful rest of the day and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.